Hi, this is Mark Morell, and I'm here at RetroCon 2014, and I'm here for Let's Voltron, the official Voltron podcast, and I'm here with Josh McKillops. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm here at the uh, RetroCon. We're having a great time out here. I happened to buy the Let's Voltron booth and had to stop and talk to these guys for a little bit on their podcast about uh, how much we like being here, one at RetroCon, but mainly because... We love Voltron. It's turning 30. It's been a great 30 years, but it has been quiet for a while. But it seems like uh, we're getting a lot more merchandise coming out, coming right. down the line. We've got a great book that I was introduced to here that's coming out in October. Right. Um, I'm definitely going to be checking out. Yeah. Um, what, did, what did you think of the book? I, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, the thing of it is, I think you know, we grew up through the 80s, and we had a lot of stuff. We had a lot of cartoons, a lot of toy lines. Um, not many of them get a chance to come back. You know, there, there's not a lot of G.I. Joe and Transformers that have had longevity, but it's great to see that Voltron's getting a book. We've got the, the CD soundtrack that came out maybe about two years ago or a year ago. Um, it's just great to see that kind of stuff to find out where Voltron came from, where it's been, where it's going. Um, we have a new 30th anniversary figure that, that they have at the booth here that looks amazing from Toynami. Mm -hmm. um, can't wait to pick that up myself. But Can you tell me what your earliest Voltron memory is? Earliest Voltron memory, um, something that stuck out to me um, was I remember my kindergarten backpack. Mm -hmm. was, and it wasn't really a backpack, it was more of a tote, but that was my first book bag for school. Gray book bag, Voltron on the front about three inches big, black trim, but I remember everything about that bag and that it was Voltron. And having the, I know that year, getting the Voltron toys from Matchbox, the castle, everything at Christmas time. And, you know, as a kid, that stuff was great. You don't get toys like that size, that magnitude today. And I really just got back to Voltron here recently with the, the Maddie Collector Voltron we were talking right. about before. Um, and I was amazed by that and I said to myself, you know, we, we need to see more of this kind of thing. We need so, to get, get that right. out there. Was it just the size of it or what, what, what was it made the Maddie Collector one so great for you? One was the size. I, I love the look, the size, the animation style, but the, the pilot figures themselves, that was great because we never really had, you know, we had those the three and three quarter inch figures back in, you know, 84, but mm -hmm. we haven't seen anything like that. And as much as Voltron is the centerpiece to that cartoon, the characters, the pilot of the lions, right. were just as important. Right, what about, what about mm, characters that weren't main characters, all right? Like we're talking about the, like the villains or, the villains. or even the drool, drool uh, commanders and stuff like that. I think it would be a great idea to get those out there to complement that set of figures because it's great when you have the good guy, but you don't have any bad guys for the good guys to take care of. Right. Now, did you hear that back in 1986 that Panache Place was planning on making a second wave of toys and they were going to include the Castle Doom play set that would have really complemented the Castle of Lions play set and they were going to have some of the figures too. I, I didn't know that until you just told me, but that, I mean, that makes the, the hairs on the back of your yeah. neck stand up. Because, again, there, there you go, you just had a handful of uh, bad guys to go with Voltron, but nothing to really have Voltron go up against. You know, right. you had that big Voltron, you put all your figures in, you had that big castle for, you know, all the figures, but you didn't have anything... For Prince Low Tour, you know, right? There, there's just nothing there, and there are no Robies to scale. Exactly, you had those tiny little three and three quarter inch right. Robies, and the, the nifty coffin that that was great. Yeah. But to go up against Voltron, <laughs> I think not. You know, yeah. that, that's that was kind of the shame of it. But I think uh, we see that a lot in toy lines where some of the, the toy companies they miss the mark right. on, on some things that they don't think they could cash in on, but they could obviously cash in on bad guys for Voltron right. to fight. So we've talked about this on the podcast. We've talked about how if they just came out with the the, the, the three and three quarter inch figures in the whole line, everybody would go out and buy it. Oh, definitely. I mean, 
I, I didn't get a chance. Like I said, I got my my Voltron from Maddie Collector after the fact that it had come out, and I'm so glad I did. You know, I mean, now if they were to put any other Voltron up with that three and three quarter inch scale, I would be in a heartbeat to pre-order, subscribe, whatever I had to do after having that figure because it just it just hit home. Right. Like how much you know Voltron was a part of my childhood. Like I said, you know, Voltron kind of got forgot about there for a little while. Yeah. But, you know, through comics, yeah. you know, uh, I, I know Netflix was one of the things that brought it back for me, too, because right. the series was on there for, for a period of time. I got to rewatch it. Mm -hmm. And it is one of those few cartoons from your childhood that still holds up. Yeah. You can still watch it. It's still got a solid storyline. It, it's not a necessarily, it's not a 30-minute commercial like most of those cartoons were. Right. You know, and I'm primarily I'm a Transformers fan, but probably within the last month, Transformers is kind of yeah. taking a back seat to the Voltron stuff that were coming out for the 30th anniversary. So right. So you know. so we've got the 30th anniversary uh, Voltron from Toynami. We've got the 30th anniversary book coming out. Voltron.com has a, a whole section just for 30th anniversary items that, that just opened up on September 10th on the official September anniversary, the official 30th anniversary of Voltron. So, if there was something else that you wanted as a Voltron consumer, what would you want to have? To be honest, the one the one character that I would love to have in any way, shape, or form at this point is Koran. Oh. Because he was a central part of the team. Yeah. But you never, you never got, got a figure, as far as okay. I can remember. And I don't know why, but like you said before you touched on earlier, there are a lot of side characters in the show you could produce, you could make, mm -hmm. and, and, and there you go. Um, so I you want Coran? I want Coran, I really do. I, I know that might sound strange, but Coran and the mice. Right. Because that, that was one thing too with those three and three quarter inch figures. It was like, well, if they would have just thrown in a little, <laughs> it could have been just a little, you know, Three or four of them, boom, right there yeah. to go with Paige or, or uh, right. Laura, but we didn't get that. And it was kind of like, you know, hey, you could throw out whatever whatever you throw out at this point for me, for Voltron, I'm probably going to be there. Did you hear that? Anything he throws out, he's going to get it, all right? And that's, that's taking a break from Voltron for about probably a good 20 years and 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 seeing the the merchandise that's coming out like that the 30th anniversary Toinami Voltron and and just the the, the the die cast metal how hefty that figure actually is it's yeah it's a hefty figure everybody right. be warned if you buy it it's a hefty toy um, is just as great as that Maddie collector one they're both unique in their own way shape or form and that's the other nice thing about Voltron is that no two figures are exactly alike. Right. There, there's something about every one of them that makes them great. Right. And well, I mean, it talking... makes it tough on the wallet as a collector, but right. at the same time, it's you know you're taking a singular character, making it to two totally. Let's let's face it, the Toonami and the Mattel are two totally different toys. Right. Both are great in their own unique aspects. So right. buy both if you have the chance. All right, well, I want to thank you for joining us on Let's Voltron, the official Voltron podcast. Hey, it was a pleasure, and everybody get out there, support Voltron as much as you can, because that's the only way we're going to make new stuff happen. That's right. That's right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.